keep going. All right, well, it's time to hit Twitter and let us know who you guys are giving this game to. Tweet hashtag C9Win or hashtag TIPWin to at LOL Esports. We'll tally those up as always throughout the game. We are getting into Cloud9 versus Team Impulse, both one and two already as we finish off this second week here of the spring split. They're looking to stop their slide in the standings. We're about to be Nowhere on the rip. to be found. Oh, he did just... When they see that ward, Rush has to basically just rush up there <laughs> and try and stop this from happening. Arctic assaulted right back in the other direction. Goes to on the red buff side as well, so he doesn't get hit by the tri brush. Teleport coming in from Balls here. On to impact. He goes down four in the top lane for Cloud9. First blood to Meteos. Yep. Nice reaction there by Cloud9, sending people up there. Rush was late to that spot, so was Adrian. So Cloud9 completely beats them that rotation. Impact can't get out in time. Playing it very safe as well, not over diving in their attempts with all this knowledge that they have. And once again, rinse and repeat towards the top lane. A good hook onto Adrian, no six there, so no Janna disengage. And just a six oh. for Impact. He may use that ultimate that's actually already gone down right behind Cloud9. They're gonna nicely take down Impact. No! That's stun up beautifully by Rush! A double kill, however, coming in for Sneaky. They do finish it off as he dives through and goes deep, but... He's just not been able to make plays. He's tried. He's played Evelyn, Lee Sin, and now Sejuani. Mm -hmm. uh, just a little bit slow to these things, and now they're just straight up starting the Dragon. Cloud9 does not have a Zir, so they are not contesting. Siveralt coming down, they're trying to force. They should get Lemonation on this one. The rest of the team kind of in a think I can help him, but they should not have thought that. Meteos could also go down. The teleport from Balls a little far away, and they are just walking on the red carpet. Equalizer coming in from Impact. On to Impact now. A great hit into the fight. That's going to be Sneaky coming up with a few kills for himself. Balls as well onto Apollo. It only took a few seconds for them to get resituated for that one, but Cloud9 is able to turn it around after Impulse looks. Because they were presented with a set of choices early on in the game, whether they try and match the minions in the lane swap or take the dragon. Right. And they very clearly and without hesitation took the dragon. So I actually do like that adaptation from Cloud9 to get it early. Uh -oh. oh! An explosion onto Sneaky. Can they even rebuttal this? I don't think so. He goes down. They're going to have to wait for him to come back up. Can Impulse get anything like out of that? Who missed out on that huge wave entirely. Mm -hmm. Xiao Wei Xiao mopped it all up. Now they have a level 13 in the block, but still not a rank 2 ultimate on Rumble. That would be nice right there. Impact throws it down. Rush is right in the front of this one. Can they even get anything on it? You saw Apollo use the Sivir ultimate to get everybody out. Sej still forced to flash over the wall. And I was going to say, they're doing all of this so Xiao Wei Xiao can allow them to create pressure. And they're still being pressured. But he does come up with a kill for himself here. Here comes Tip, though. Big dragon fight. Xiao Wei Xiao in for a little bit of vision. Two-man ultimate. Sneaky's actually on the front there. Now he's forcing the dragon pit, and dragon's attacking him. A good hit from Apollo takes him down. Now onto Incarnation. Apollo is just chucking the boomerangs. He gets a double kill on the priority targets of the fight. And now it's Xiao Wei Xiao who's still alive, and he's going to be hitting up more teammates. With Talisman is making it so Cloud9 cannot out-rotate pretty much anywhere. Oh, Xiao Wei Xiao is oh boy. still down there. Uh, this, this, is, uh, this is bad. This is desperation from Cloud9. <laughs> There's probably enough time for the LeBlanc to come up here as well. Basically, Cloud9 has to run immediately. This is going to be really tough. Rush still has that ultimate available. Doesn't want to throw right into someone's face. Could hit the full team here. A nice hit back by the Emperor's Divide. Impact and Rush in a bad spot here. Incarnation takes a few shots coming in from Apollo, and he goes down immediately as Cloud9 starts to get wiped out in this fight. Everything was focused on Rush, and he made that happen by putting himself in the front of the fight. A good hit by Xiao Wei Xiao for the triple kill. Apollo for one more, but it's going to be taken over by Adrian as they get the ace on Cloud9 at the Baron Pit. Yeah, there's already an exposed inhibitor in the bottom lane, but Impulse doesn't have time to go down there right now, so they'll take the Baron. That was a very disappointing end to a series of outplays by Team Impulse, where basically Cloud9 throws their hands up in the air, says, no way we can deal with the block. YOLO, Baron. <laughs> but that doesn't work in the LCS. It completely changes where his positioning has to be in the fight. Usually he doesn't have enough time to do that. 12 to 7, Impulse. 
definitely turning the game around after 30 minutes. The stats do not lie. They once again go high kills over low deaths in their fights. And once again, Cloud9 is going to go for broke in front of the base. That's going to be impact going down. He got the equalizer out, but it's only in between the champions. Now, Sneaky, one last hit. The distortion back actually takes balls into a bad spot. And Xiao Wei Xiao brings him in for the next treat. They're going to go on to the inhibitor. These plays are just not in favor of Cloud9 as much as they're trying. Yeah, it's going to be game. It takes 36 minutes. Once Impulse got the yeah. lead, they hammered it home. Fifth Much better performance from Shao Shao. 66,000 to 53. A very good 8-0-5 LeBlanc, LeBlanc from Shao Shao as Team Impulse take down Cloud9. This moves Impulse to 2-2, two and two, which at the start of the year isn't even that impressive. Yeah. The worst trend, though, is Cloud9, even after beating TSM with the first game of the split, now sits at one and three.